When I first read through the student's work, I'm leaving through Google Docs comment features notes to myself as to what I want to say. And then, once I start my QuickTime file and I'm doing the audio capture, I then tell the student, all right, find point number one, click on it. Here, you make an excellent point. You say that you change the ending of the story for a purpose. Instead of showing the old woman missing her fingers, you had the boy get his finger cut off. And you start to explain what effect that choice has. It gives a new situation where the reader either shakes his or her head at the boy or feels sorry for him. To make this even better, you need to go further with your explanation. You need to explain why you think that reader empathy is important, what perhaps you're changing the point of view, and even more importantly, I need to know what is it about the original piece, the author's writing style, that you appreciate and that you're trying to evaluate. So that's the kind of comment that I'm leaving for the students. I click through and click on the next point and just go sequentially through and you can see I've left all kinds of comments. And it takes me about three minutes to five minutes to leave that audio feedback. And while I'm doing that, I'm always trying to, of course, say what the student's doing well and leave a really positive tone of voice. And I find that students are really responding to hearing me give critical feedback, and they're not taking it as um, all hope is lost, I can't do anything about it. They're taking it as, hey, we're in it together, and Mr. Neal is trying to make me a better writer, which is the entire point of feedback.